Tene, Tatanda, Tombo, Chenamba Kangala, Tashi Delicuta, Tene, TG Salas, on the Dodging Chontoman, Dengay and Lant, Ticapsula, Tepata, Mugu, Chinaruchi. First, Rinpoche would like to wish everyone Tashi Delac or good luck, good fortune. And uh, following that, we will be. Uh, following this, now we will chant the uh, short Vajradhara lineage prayer. And so please, as you recite this prayer, uh, generate faith and devotion. Doje.
ทีนี้ถ้าคัสเซนเกนทูเลยูกับโซตามิซัลโตยูยาลาเจอร์โตเชนนัมบัตตาตอนไปชื่อลาเทปัตตามุกุจีนีทีนี้ก็มุนนั
uh, there's a particular thing that needs to be said. And that is that uh, it is important when, uh, and that is that you all have come here out of uh, faith and devotion in the Dharma and out of a pure interest to uh, study and practice the Dharma. And of course, there's not much to say about that. However, what is important to say is that when we practice the Dharma, it is important to have a completely pure motivation. It is important to have this completely pure motivation when we uh, practice the Dharma. Uh, and, the, and so for this reason, when we, uh, in the tradition of the uh, snowland of Tibet, we always make sure to have a good uh, motivation, a good intention, whenever we uh, begin to study or practice the Dharma. And so for that reason, please now look within your beings and see what is your motivation like. We are all ordinary beings, and so sometimes it is possible that we have a good, pure motivation. Sometimes it's possible that we don't have that, such a good, pure motivation. And so for that reason, it is important now to look within your beings and see what is your motivation right now. And please then try to think uh, in this way, that you are uh, that we are here uh, going to study the Dharma and practice the Dharma in order to uh, protect all of the limitless uh, sentient beings from all of the uh, sorrows of the ocean of samsara and that we are doing this practice in order to uh, bring them all to the limitless state of uh, to the limitless complete state of Buddhahood and so please generate this a motivation in your being, and this is the fine motivation of the mind of enlightenment, the mind of bodhicitta. So please clearly plant this motivation as you listen to the Dharma and as you practice the Dharma. Dini tati kasinkatu le jirdo shujure la Dini tiyan tatanta chitanga wo nitten patabu ge ondu siena samu jigran jintu song yore Samo ji de tata wu tsikinani tomba ni ta jai tsema me bata ni ma ji bata som manga bata ye tama me bata nga tama ta tawa me bata to tawa me bata dai kama me bata ji de la samo ji sungi wa re la tini samo ji ganani tambo tomba ni de ji par som Tini tomba ni ti tardo tini ti ji sun ju dumbo ti ta dupe sur ji sun ni tini tomba ni ji tomba ni ta tambar a tambar ni par re la tambar ni par re and so now we are going to pick up from where we left off yesterday and here uh, what comes what comes next in the text and what follows are what are called in the commentary the uh, eight profound characteristics. Uh, so the the eight uh, or the uh, so these eight profundities, the eight uh, eight profound characteristics, uh, come a little bit later in the text, and these are in order: first, emptiness; second, no characteristics; third, unborn; fourth, unceasing; fifth, no stains; sixth, no freedom from stains. Seventh, no decrease, and eighth, no increase. So these are the eight profundities that will be explained in the text, in the commentary, and below. And of these eight, the first one is emptiness. And so this first, uh, uh, of, this first of the eight profundities, emptiness, is given a, an extensive explanation, while the uh, following seven are given a briefer explanation in the text. Tene Tatea Takasin Katu on the Sina Pumbong about the Rajon Ronjinji Tomba Yonta but a Jis Tao Sitati Tombany Tembeg Chetula Tombany the Tembeg Juti Tajerdo Pumbongati Temparella Pumbongati Tembeg on the Sina Cherdo Tangaranso Tene Ta Nambasanji Tenesum Jon the Sina 
ตะเนตาติเกดุรเวเดเนจนนตอตาจอลมกกอรอตาดูดิเดเนกนนตอจอติเงเซกอมเปกกอรอติสวนเรลาตาฮีซิจูทอมจิเกเนตาติเงเบ
the way to understand them as emptiness is not clearly taught here. Rather, what is taught here uh, are the way we understand composites to be, uh, to be emptiness. And in this way, we uh, teach them through the gate of the, or through the manner of teaching the five aggregates of being empty of nature. And these, so the five aggregates are form and so forth. So there are five different aggregates, but if you condense them, they can be condensed into two different categories. And these would be for, uh, form and mind. So the two different categories that contain all of the rest of the five aggregates are form and mind. So the first of these, the aggregate of form, is all of the things like mountains or fences or roads, external things, and then also your own body. These things all are classified in the aggregate of form because they are composed of material particles. So these are all the things that can be comp composed of material particles. Then the second uh, aggregate here is the, uh, or the second type here is the aggregate of mind. And so these are all our consciousness and mental events and so forth. And so that's the second type. Now, in the teachings on the clear dharma, in the teachings on the abhidharma, in the teachings on the clear dharma, there are also the, um, is also given a third category, the th category of non-concurrent formations. Uh, some of you may be familiar with these terms. If you're not, we don't need to worry about them right now. We're going to put them aside. And we won't worry about them. We can, combine, we can contain everything else within the uh, two categories of form and mind. And so, uh, if, uh, excuse me, the two categories of matter or form and mind. And so we have these two basic categories of matter and mind. <laughs> Uh Tela Tiba 
ที่ตั้งตัวนั่นเป็นคีบัตรสุดเจ็บตัวคือยี่นั่นเป็นคีบัตรแต่คีคีบัตรทั้งที่จินจูนี่สุดเจ็บตัวตัวที่นั่นเ
And then there is also the tradition of the uh, higher uh, clear dharma, the higher abhidharma, which is primarily in the great vehicle. And this tradition talks about eight collections of consciousness. When we talk about eight collections of consciousness, in addition to the um, uh, six collections of consciousness as already mentioned, there are two additional ones. And the, uh, one, the first of these, the seventh consciousness, is the constant sense of me and other, self and other that we have. And this is the seventh, the uh, afflicted consciousness. Okay. And then the eighth consciousness is called the eighth uh, all ground uh, consciousness. And this is like the root of the mind. And so uh, in this way, we have these eight different collections of consciousnesses in the um, uh, uh, in the upper one. And these are all in the, uh, in the aggregate of consciousness. ตีลากิงยีนัมเบอร์คีบาเซนาทาทันตาจิตาจิตังเกกิงยีนัมเบอร์คีบาเอ่อเตซับปันดาบุจิซงยอเรเตยินนายาเจซีนังงูซุงก
uh, consciousness. And so that is uh, how the memory works. And so we can remember something that happened yesterday. If we do some training or if we uh, get, receive some education, then the latencies of that are stored in our, um, in our eighth consciousness. The other six collections of consciousness cannot really retain consciousness, or re cannot really retain them, but the latencies are stored in the eighth consciousness. And so when we receive education, then the latencies are, st uh, as a child, for example, then the latencies of that are stored in the eighth all-ground consciousness. And then later, when we are older, then we can remember it. Uh, sometimes it even happens that you receive uh, education in a previous life and you remember that the latencies are reawakened and you uh, remember it in a future life. And so this is what is meant when we talk about the eighth consciousness, uh, the all ground consciousness as like the storehouse of uh, the storehouse of latencies. Uh, and so this is the description of the eighth consciousness as it is given in the higher clear dharma, as it is given in the Mahayana or great vehicle clear dharma tradition. Uh, so in this way, we have these eight different consciousnesses. Bembo <laughs> Uh and so Rinpoche will be explaining the uh, five aggregates each in turn. And so what we have, what Rinpoche has already described, uh, explained is first the uh, form aggregate, which is uh, composed of matter or established by matter, and then also the aggregate of uh, consciousness and the aggregate of consciousness is the clear aspect that knows. That is what the aggregate of consciousness. It is the clear aspect that knows of the mind, uh, and so uh, it is able to that clear aspect that can see, that can hear, etc. That is what is meant by consciousness. And so we have these two different aggregates here: form and consciousness, and they each have their own different set of characteristics. Characteristics is a word that is sometimes translated as definition, but here I'm going to be using characteristics. The characteristics of, uh, so e form and consciousness each have their own uh, uh, characteristics. And the characteristics of form, of the characteristic of material form is that it is established by particles or composed of particles. So it is everything that is made up of different particles uh, into a thing into a sort of object or thing. That is what we mean by form, that it is a material form is composed of particles, the characteristics of matter. Then we have the characteristics of consciousness. The characteristic of consciousness is that it is clear and knowing. And so that it is, uh, consciousness is something that is clear and can know and everything. It can understand things. It can see uh, forms. It can hear sounds and so forth. Uh, and so it is that characteristic of mind that can clearly know and clearly understand something. And so this is the characteristic of consciousness that it is clear and knowing. Uh, and so in this way, we have these two different aggregates that we've uh, covered. The first is the 
is material form that is composed of particles. Uh, and the second is this clear and knowing, which is the, uh, or clear and aware, you could also say clear and knowing, which is the um, uh, characteristic of uh, consciousness and these two are a little bit different and so for every being we uh, we have both of these um, both of these ca uh, categories so whether you are human or whether you are an animal you have a form aggregate and you have an aggregate of consciousness and these two are separate. We can separate the two and say that they are different for all sentient beings. You can say that the consciousness uh, and the form are different, that they can be uh, separated out from each other. ดิเนทาทีเกฮิปาซาริกินเซนีนัมเบอร์ฮิปิพุมโบเตลาเยนาทาเทลานอนซีดิเซอนดิเตลาเซมดานเซมจุนนัมเบอร์ยี่ยอ
or being thoughts. So it is thoughts that are what we call uh, what we call mental factors, and these are in what we call the fourth uh, uh, fourth aggregate, the aggregate of formations. So it is this fourth aggregate, the aggregate of formations that has primarily the uh, mental factors. Now these mental factors are mainly thoughts. They're the different sorts of thoughts that happen in your mind, and they happen in all of the eight different consciousnesses. When they happen in the seventh and eighth consciousnesses, then they are extremely subtle, very, very subtle. When they happen in the uh, five uh, sensory consciousnesses of eye, ear, and so forth, uh, then they are just a little bit less subtle. They're still subtle, but not quite so subtle. And then, uh, the, but the coarse thoughts all happen in the sixth mental consciousness. So that is where these coarse thoughts happen. And these coarse thoughts are the, um, uh, what we call mental factors. So uh, the thoughts are the mental factors. Now, of course, when we talk about any instance of mind, whether it be a consciousness or a mental factor, they all have the characteristic of being clear and knowing. However, uh, th these thoughts are what, when we uh, divide it into two, these thoughts, the mental characteristics, are what we call the aggregate of formation. And so it is this aggregate of formation that um, it has all the mental factors. In the, uh, hot, in the upper clear dharma tradition, then there are said to be 51 different mental factors. And so these are 51 different mental factors are the different types of thoughts that can happen in our mind. Some of the thoughts that happen in our mind are neither virtuous nor non-virtuous. They're just naturally thoughts. And so this is one type, natural thoughts. And then there are thoughts that are by their nature non-virtuous or misdeedful. They're non-virtuous thoughts. And then there are thoughts that by their nature are virtuous. And so in this way, there are different types of uh, mental factors. And these mental factors are all the different types of thoughts, uh, and they are included in the uh, fourth aggregate, the aggregate of formations. And so in this way, Rinpoche has explained uh, three of the five aggregates. First, he explained the form aggregate. And then, uh, which, is the, which has the characteristic of being, um, of being composed of particles. Then he discussed the uh, aggregate of consciousness, the clear, uh, clear knowing aspect of mind. Uh, and then he uh, discussed the fourth aggregate, the aggregate of formations, which are these coarse thoughts. <laughs> Tatanga, Janso le loose jerba balap you are married. Marit in Yinaya, that in the Janso de Zetco, Tembo, near the Pajeta, Tela Balap J, Juju Arela. That's what sent the Janso Tabajeta, Tene, Duzigi Pumbote, Sanjung number two buttons, Balap Nankin J, Yungi Arela, Tene Balap de Tujundo, Yungi Ore, Yanka Gala, Tapena. Tsunami Rabuchona Pen Yan Kachimbo Yungi Yorella. Then Sang Noni got in San Number Hibanoni, Tin Namto Rakwatomo Tin de San Yanka in Chimbo, Pena Tsunami Rabu, Yungi Yorella, Tinitella, Naranzo, Tingens and Gum, Chutam Jitoni to Togu Yorella, Tin Tatea Santon, Tso Santon, Number Hib, Number Topa, Dujiji Pumbo Tini, Candis in it. Luganant and Rogi or Sena. At a send number he but two jet, Chitanga, Luchasan, La Chabney, Takapka la Luganant, Nepichava, you are married, Kapka la Chilo, like your cigarette, say no, I own that number he but Latin, young you are it. So chair, Takunzo, go on the Sena Nanga, Tene Luginondo, Nepa in Picherna, Tenetanda, send number he but two jet, Tangaran to Ninganando, Nepa Tavaji. Then in the Zing, I just think number two buttons, not to rock buttons, or can it do you are a Siena? Then in Tatanda, Ninganon, Yam, Parnit, Lebanon, and Drogio are the law. Then in the Zing, I just think number two buttons, that 
So we talk about these two different types of mind, the, uh, the primary mind and the mental factors, but they really are actually in their essence, you cannot really, uh, they're not really, se you cannot really separate them. They're not separate from each other. It is like, for example, uh, the ocean. The ocean uh, has this aspect that is just always there that is staying, and that's what we call the ocean. And then it has the things that move, that which moves in the ocean, uh, and that is what we call the waves. And so in the same way, we have this clear knowing aspect of mind, which is like our consciousness. And then we have the emotion, the coarse thoughts that move, and those are the thoughts, the uh, mental factors. And so uh, just as in the ocean, you sometimes have, uh, you almost always have uh, some sort of small waves going. Um, and then occasionally you have, uh, so these small waves are always happening in the ocean. And then occasionally you have a big tsunami that comes and is really dangerous. Uh, and similarly, we have in our minds, uh, our minds, we always have this clear aw awareness in this. And we often have a subtle movement of thought that is like waves moving. And then sometimes we have a really coarse, uh, afflicted thought that arises. And it's like a big tsunami that comes in. Those are really dangerous. Uh, and so we have these uh, very dangerous, coarse thoughts that happen. And so for that reason, we need to practice deep holding or samadhi. And we need to come to understand the meaning of emptiness in order to pacify those coarse thoughts. Now, uh, in terms of these uh, thoughts in the mind, are they uh, the mind and the mental factors, how are they? Are they inside the body? Are they outside the body? Where are they? If we think about it, then we cannot really say that they're solely inside the body because sometimes thoughts arise because of external objects. And so we can't necessarily say that consciousness is just inside the body. There's no way to really say it that for certain, but in general, it seems to us like our consciousnesses are contained within our body somehow. And so when we think about our consciousnesses being inside our body, then the clear knowing aspect of consciousness is itself is inside our hearts. And so it is inside our hearts that there is this clear knowing uh, primary mind, primary consciousnesses that is there. And then sometimes there are the waves of subtle and coarse thoughts that uh, rise up into our heads, into our brains. And so it seems like the thoughts happen in our brains. Uh, and so we have these 51 thoughts, the, mo the, mo the movement of the 51 formations, the mental factors that arises and goes into our brains. And so it seems like our thinking is happening in our brains. So nowadays, when uh, we have scientists who uh, say that the mind is the brain, that the mind is in the brain somehow, then what they are seeing is the movement of the 51 mental factors in the mind. And so that is what they're seeing happening uh, in the brain, is the movement of these 51 mental factors. But the actual center of the consciousness itself uh, is located, the clear aspect of consciousness is located in the heart. Tene Tatia Cherdo Modapa Modapa Sinking Nekala Tene Semda Sem Jung Nabala Yuarela Te Takwa go on the Siena Ya Tanda Shitro Tamba Rig Jag Kuru Gongi Yuarela Shitro Tamba Rig Jag Kuti Rang Lujin on the Gong Yung Capsula Send number Hiba Tsuji the Ninganando Yaba in the Chena Hyoji Chitani de Tene Rang Ninganando Gongu Pata Tinganze Hyoji Chitani de Ninganando Yu Yaba de Tembarella Tanamto Rapa Sensum Duzi Natchati de Tene Tanda Lepinon to Yaba de Balat de Lepinon to Roy in the Cherna Tene Barra Tantum Natchu 
ทรงตรงอาจจะจัดจิกกับกับเลยว่าเรื่องละถ้าเทตาบุกทูกับลาสุดเล็บนั่นตัวกองกี่ว่าเรื่องเหตุลาลุจิลตัวกองยงกับส
Tenim pari yung kapsula, si da 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 ngaran so nam lusen yung trali yung kapsula, tenim trong trong lahat so lepen on yung tanye, tenim di dusing ngaco taji di chila chila tanye yung kapsi, tenim trong trong lahat so te nang jinam kalan chari yung liyo ba, yung palaso patat tinde song yung arela, ti junseng yung taji tang sen yung kan dusing ngaco taji de tenim tanda Sembuh kapsul lah lepenan tu ya pak lepenan ni balap dapat juga ya pak cai dah. Tiada cewa kapsul lepenan ni tan de cerol dog ya pak lasu pada tiada nombor syarik ya re. Tadi ke tadi pumbok ngai nanti sumban tu sih di pumbok. And so here. When we talk about the uh, the 51 wrathful deities in our brains, then the so the, the uh, they in our when we are alive, they exist in our brains as the uh, 51 uh, mental formations, the 51 coarse sort of thoughts that are in our in our mind. And yet, when we die, then they will appear to us as the 51 wrathful deities. It is taught, and so the way it is taught is that at the time of death, then the body and the mind are separated. And so the uh, 51 mental factors that are within the mind are released from there and they uh, f uh, 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 go out into the sky and appear to us as the 51 wrathful deities. And so this is how it is taught. And so the main reason for teaching this is um, to show this is that this is why the uh, coarse thoughts appear to arise in the brain. So this is how the 51 uh, mental factors, the 51 different types of coarse thoughts arise in our uh, brains. And um, uh, so this is what we call the, um, among the five aggregates, this is what we call the fourth of the five aggregates, the aggregate of formations. Tene te jendo tanda ngok untu sena tene tanda ngok dracia persibik nam tu ko untu sena ta melasupala dalam dinding kita pasi ta main tang yul ni nyam tu sini zimbik nam bertopa cinta tene tundo lasupata baje ina tiada dalam dinding kita pasi yau mari te ina ya dalam dinding kita pasi na Data tanya ni, ni tu, ngus setuju ya marit, ngus ni ruang dapat juga ngok nombor topa juga ada lah, ngok nombor topa tu, tak tanda, tni tan tu jing aku tak jika none man tu none, tni jembalal lepas ini bercerna, jembat sangkul ke nama tu tanda, tapa rinsing jelah susu se, tak tapa gombek asal, tapa rinsing jelah susu, hitro gombek asal lah, tapa rinsing jelah susu, tni jembalal gombek juga ada lah, tni ngok jendek ke nombor nombor Tu pada ini ramai ni cuma yang bercerna tan tuji ke nomor tu tenjo lepatan ramai tan tindelan rugi orang. In terms of speech, what happens when we speak or speech is for us humans. For us humans, what happens is we have thoughts that are. Thoughts that hold meaning and sound together. So we have thoughts that hold meaning and sound together. Uh, and these are what we humans have. So thoughts that hold meaning and sound together. In other words, uh, these are thoughts that you think about something and then you know the words for them. So thoughts that hold meaning and sound together. Uh, and then if it's uh, a being like an animal or so forth, uh, animals uh, aren't able to hold the meaning and the sound together. That is, they do not have language. Uh, they are not able to hold meaning and sound together, but they have thoughts that are um, thoughts that are capable of holding meaning and sound together. So the, th uh, so the thoughts for animals and so forth are, are called capable of holding meaning and sound together. Uh, now, uh, the, or capable of hold, uh, let's see, capable of holding meaning and sound mixed together, keeping, a, uh, I'll just leave it with what I had before, capable of leaving, of, uh, capable of holding meaning and sound together. And the animals have these thoughts, um, uh, the animals of course are not able to speak, but their thoughts are suitable 
to uh, then give rise to speech. And so they have th uh, thoughts that are capable of holding meaning and sound together. And so what happens to, uh, for us in our impure appearances is that we have a thought that holds meaning and sound together and then it comes, to, the wave of that thought comes down to our throat and then it manifests as speech. And so for that reason, that is the impure aspect. In the pure aspect, this uh, manifests as the mandala of the pure vidyadars, as the mandala of the pure uh, knowledge holders. And so we have the mandala of the pure knowledge holders that appears in our throat because the coarse thoughts of the mind uh, come down into, the waves of the coarse thought of the mind come down into the throat and then we speak them and that is the uh, uh, mandala. When we meditate upon it in the tradition of the peaceful and wrathful deities, then we see them as the mandala of the pure uh, knowledge holders, the pure vidyadars. Uh, and so, um, in uh, the mandala, well, that's everything, yeah. <laughs> Then, that and that, Tigre, Tanda, Tangara Pumbo, Agnone, Tambo Zuki Pumbo, then Nava, number Hippe Pumbo, Yiba, Nuziki Pumbo, the number some Huberil. That did then do Pumbo Nazi workouts a lot sorrow Pumbo, and do Hiji Pumbo singing Niwa Niba Soru Pumbo, Sumba, and do Hiji Pumbo say. Niwarela, dear candidates in the Indio Coni Bode, then in the Ziji Pumbu Constopar, San Antora Batilla, Corio, San Antora Bati in Betan, the Ziji Pumbu Constoriore, Tori, you are ready, Yenaya, Tenite, Toroa de la Naranzu, Yam Batimbuyor, Toroa deva top goose and butter, Dungal top na Magawa la sopa, that Toroa, Yam Batimboya by in Betana, Sanji jumped in the G. Tening and the Negan on the Toru Pumbote, Duzi Pumboli, Sorti Yabar, Tate. Tening Ibati, Duhi Pumborella, Duhi Sidney Sinking, the Re, the Zipare, the Menzipare, the Yapore, the Dubore, some but Namto de Yor. Tinamto de Pe, Hill Chimboyor, the Magangala, Tinamto de Car Chimboyor, Tinamto de la Hemba Chimboyor. Teacher na duhiji pumbota tene choru pumbote pumbo nibala yo duhiji pumbote pumbo sumbala yo tene tati chorwa tan duhi maimbe duhiji number to botan je den pumbo yibala yo tene ti pumbo nga sone ta jitan ge tan da ta ne be den ge no de pumbo nga tin de sin den yo re So Rinpoche has now explained the first of the aggregates, the aggregate of form, and the fifth aggregate, the aggregate of consciousness, and the fourth aggregate, the aggregate of formations. And then there are two more uh, aggregates that are left, and these are the aggregates of feelings and the aggregates of conceptions. So aggregates of feelings and conceptions. Here a note on the translation. The aggregate of, of, percep of conception is often translated as aggregate of perception. Uh, I translate it as the aggregate of conception, thinking, ideas, because uh, as is clear from what Rinpoche has said, perception happens uh, independent of, of this aggregate. It happens in the fifth aggregate. So I'm calling it the aggregate of conception. So these are the uh, second and the third aggregates. Now, these uh, two aggregates, feeling and conception, are thoughts. And so they are really actually formations, and they can be included in the aggregate of formations. However, the Lord Buddha taught them separately for a reason. And the reason is that when we have uh, feelings, for example, thoughts about feelings, uh, then we feel something good or we feel something bad. We feel something good. We have a lot of strong attachment to that feeling. We have a very, and so we think it's very real. We're very attached. We cling to it very strongly. And so for that reason, we have this especially a strong attachment to it. So it is set aside as, a, as the second aggregate, the aggregate of feelings. And then, uh, in the same way, we sometimes have thoughts that uh, we have conceptions. Uh, conception that this is beautiful, this is not beautiful, this is uh, nice, this is bad, or whatever. And so we have these different conceptions that 
uh, arise. And we also have very strong attachment to these conceptions. We think it's important that we think that this is beautiful. We think this is great. We think this is lovely. This is beautiful. It's a really important idea, and we strongly cling to that idea of, th of things being beautiful. We strongly cling to the conception of that thing as being beautiful. And for that reason, uh, it is an especially strong and coarse sort of thought. Uh, and for that reason, the Lord Buddha, when he was teaching the basket of the clear dharma, he taught these two uh, uh, aggregates, the form, uh, feeling, and conception separately as aggregates. He taught uh, the feeling separately as the aggregate of feelings. And he taught these conceptions separately as the aggregate of conceptions. And so in this way, we have the five aggregates. Then, that here la, tanda, papa jin rizig sung kapsula, tatanda, hira in butsawe non to, pumbong about the rot jong, said the tel tati consula, jitin jacona yep and mupokanga, bembo hippa, sam sam jung chasan, the tat, the pumbongai consula, nugi or the la, then the junsin teacher na, pumbong about the rot jong, said that in so young. Rangin ki tombare yon ta par jis tao si. Ta te, ta ti zog ji pumbo yin na ya, tomba. Choru pumbo yin na ya, ngo ho tomba. Ndu si ji pumbo ta, ndu si ji pumbo ta. Te ni te nambar ki be pumbo kanga cha cha te. Rangin tomba yon ta par jis tao si. Tomba yon ta par jis tao, tomba ni yin be choli yang kandri ki la kogi yuare se na. Te ni rangin ki tomba sung ki yuare. Rangin ki tomba se na. Tene tomba main ba jela sardo zune. Tene yona magamba kapsala tomba marete. Gang yadu tomba rindro gre senkin rabo main ba. Yaha mihi pe kapsala tomba marete. Hi sona tomba rindro gre senkin rabo main ba. Tuita namba jendu ngopo zuji pumbo tong choro pumbo tong dihi je pumbo. Nambar hi pe pumbo laso pe pumbo ngabo te cha cha te. Ye demani koran rongin ki sujong sardu zhuni tomba ma imba la tomba la jiroa mare rongin ki tomba imba re la tini te la tomba imba la tomba imba la hi na ta te jitang hi guba jin ki te ma hi pa la tini tini nye mamba mambo ji nye mamba mambo ji pa la tini le sa le sa pa la tini dungal nyong ri wa koro alan tur ri wa re la ta te ikin koro ikin tru nho te pa do Nye mamba tenzo par dopo ki tabla kandere re se na ngupi nelu demba te hako gu ki yuwa. Ngupi nelu demba te kandere hako gu ki yuwa re se na. Pumbo ngapwa te la rong hinji tombari yung tabar jisu ta na ngupi nelu demba te tene tombo hi, tene te ton, tene te nyamsu nyong ni, tene ndrebu tabu ki yuwa re la ta jyonsi tichir na pumbo ngapwa te la jong rong hinji tombari yung tabar jisu ta o sung hinsa. So the five aggregates, uh, we have these five different aggregates. And what it says about them here in the text is uh, that the noble lord Avalokiteshvara, when he was looking at them, said that the five aggregates should be correctly viewed as empty by nature. And so what this means is that the five aggregates, the aggregate of form, the aggregate of feeling, the aggregate of, aggregate of conception, the aggregate of formation, and the aggregate of consciousness, are all, should all be viewed as uh, empty by nature. So they should be viewed as empty. So the five aggregates, it says, actually, in the translations, we often leave off a word that's in Tibetan. It really should be something like the five aggregates also should be uh, correctly viewed as also by nature. So also, the five aggregates also uh, including all sorts of uh, everything that we have. The five aggregates include all forms, all consciousness, all formations. Everything compound, everything composite is included in the, uh, in the uh, five aggregates, and they should be viewed as empty, and they should be viewed correctly as empty. So we should look at them and examine them and see them correctly as being empty. Now, how is it that they are empty? In what manner is it that they are empty? Are they empty in some sort of way that when, you, uh, when we're meditating, they're empty, and when they're not meditating, they're not empty? 
Or are they empty in some way that we create with our minds? Are they empty in some way that uh, some way that someone makes them empty at some point? Is it emptiness in a way that um, uh, at some point they're empty and another point they're empty? Empty when we're meditating, they're empty. When we're not meditating, they're not empty. Is it empty like that? No, they are not like that. The reason they're not like that it is that they are empty by nature. So they are empty by nature. What this means is that at all times and in all situations. They are always empty. It is not something that you need to make into emptiness. There is no one that is going to make it into emptiness. When you, edit, uh, when you meditate upon them, they do not become emptiness. They are already emptiness. Uh, they have been uh, they are empty uh, by nature. That is how they naturally are. There is no need to make it into empty, make them into something empty with your mind. Uh, and so uh, it is important to view that and to see them, to view them correctly as being empty by nature, to see that as empty, to uh, then to, uh, to know that as empty, to see it as empty, to experience them as empty. Uh, and then through experiencing them as empty, that will pacify the uh, afflictions. And so this is a very important. It is very important to correctly see th uh, the five aggregates as empty by nature, um, or to correctly view the aggregates as empty by nature. Because if we see them as being empty by nature, then th uh, we will not. Ha then the afflictions will not arise. If the afflictions do not arise, we will not accumulate karma. If we do not accumulate karma, we will not experience suffering. And so it is very important that we uh, correctly view these five aggregates as being empty by nature. <laughs> <laughs> and so Rinpoche thought that we would leave the um, uh, Dharma session for this morning here and then have some time for meditation, but there's no time left. <laughs> and so we will instead recite the dedication prayers. <laughs> Oh.